We handle cases uh, that involve injuries to people, uh, mainly catastrophic injuries. Uh, everything from civil rights to products liability to uh, general automobile uh, type of uh, accidents and general negligence cases. Um, the firm uh, is here on the uh, west side of Los Angeles on Wilshire Boulevard in the Miracle Mile District. Uh, we've been here in our own building for the last 30 years um, and we've uh, been a fairly successful, I would say, plaintiff's firm. Now, in terms of the Ekbatani case, the Ekbatani case is uh, uh, an important case. It's a case that means a lot to me because I got to know Nick, Nick Ekbatani, very early on after his injury. Nick was an upstanding uh, young man. He played football for UCLA for three years. Uh, one of the things I looked at was the uh, nature of the case. All right, so the Nick Ekbatani case involves uh, Mr. Ekbatani riding his motorcycle heading northbound on PCH when a cab driver by the name of Kim Fu, Mesfin Kim Fu, made a left turn, uh, basically cutting off his path. The two collided and uh, Mr. Ekbatani uh, really had no fault. I went ahead with the case against the cab company and against Caltrans because I felt the intersection was dangerous because it had a line of sight problem and there was a history of some other accidents in the intersection. Well, the major challenges in the case was to show that even though Nick had recovered, well, he wasn't the same. He couldn't do it like he could before. Uh, what we were able to do through Motion Lit's help and Motion Lit got involved in this pretty early and began to videotape Nick at home began to videotape Nick at work, began to videotape Nick going out swimming in swimming classes. And so we had some great clips to show the jury of the challenges he faces on a daily basis. Because Nick has to spend a couple hours a day tending to his leg, whether it be adjusting the prosthetic, whether it be changing the sleeves for a stump, or whether it be just changing the shoe in which and its own can be a, an ordeal, and he had to do that just about every morning. Well, Motion Lit's visuals, which uh, was created really over many days, over many weeks, uh, they, they were finally cut into a shorter version so that the jury isn't bored by it. And by the time we showed it, uh, you know, it was less than 15 minutes long, but it was very impactful. I mean, it took hours of video to finally break it down to what's the most impactful and we showed that over and over again, from opening, through evidence, to closing. So it became one of the centerpieces of our case. Well, the defense argued that, look, uh, Nick can do just about everything he could do before. As a matter of fact, there was a recent victory in a case strikingly similar to Nick's, where another UCLA graduate riding a motorcycle lost a left leg and claimed Caltrans or another city was responsible because of road design. There the verdict came back for only one million dollars. Here we got 35 million. I think one of the major reasons for that was the day in the life videos that we were able to show the jury that gave the jury a real glimpse into the struggles that Nick goes through on a daily basis. What every trial lawyer should know is that when you hire Motion Lit, when you hire professionals, you're gonna get a work product that is outstanding and basically tell them what you need, let them tell you how they can best put it together, and then let them go to work. In trying to negotiate a case, you can talk about it, you can send them pictures, or you can make it really come to life through a settlement video that encapsulates everything you want to say. It might be half an hour long, it might be 40 minutes long, but you know, you'd rather spend the time in doing that video because it helps you prepare for trial. Then be in a trial for two months or three months if the case can get settled. And if the defense has that, they can take that, show it to their justice, show it to their risk managers, show it to whoever it is that's gonna review it, that's got the authority to put money on it. And they say, okay, this guy is willing to do all this work. I can see we're gonna be in trouble in trial. So it can be very, very impactful. Over the last decade or so that I've been working with Motion Lit and uh, the Twins, uh, they've been uh, instrumental in helping me get the kinds of settlements and verdicts in the cases that they've been involved in, which, been, which have been quite a few, 
and um, I keep going back to them because they're good.